Hey guys, we are moving into August, so it's time to see what is in the cards for you for the upcoming month. Grab your tarot journals and let's get started. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met me yet, I'm Lisa. I'm a certified tarot consultant whose goal it is to make these videos for you and help you use the power of the tarot and the oracle cards to enhance your life. And this month, um, or this reading, I guess I should say, we are looking at the month of August, some of those energies that are coming in and out of your life, and specifically about some of those passions that are playing out in your life right now and that are coming your way. So for me, the month of August, um, there's a lot of heat in August. It is the hottest month in the um, state that I live in. And we are constantly dealing with really hot and humid days. And so thinking about um, kind of some of those things that um, you know, propel us forward and kind of using that heat and that energy to push ahead. That was sort of the thing that I was thinking about, you know, looking at passion. So we're going to take some time with three different tarot decks and two different oracle decks today to try to get a bit more um, understanding about what's coming your way in terms of some of the energies, but also looking at, um, you know, some of the passion that's coming your way, some of the things that you need to sort of kindle or redirect or you know push ahead with and that's what we're going to be focusing on so um, if you have never done a pick a card reading understand it is a more general reading done for the collective but um, if you found this video then this is definitely for you so i'm going to ask that you start by um, slowing your breathing and getting into that fuzzy headspace because we are going to um, need you to tap into your intuition here in just a quick moment so um, I'm hoping that everyone is so far having an excellent summer, um, I guess, or winter if you are in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. So I'm going to show you a few different items and I just need you to take a look and determine which one of these is speaking to you the most at this point. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is simply this key okay the second one is this acorn and these are all here we go these are all little charms acorn and the third one is this onk symbol okay so take a deep breath in All right, and then you're gonna decide if you're going to go with the key, the acorn, or the onk. All right, once you make your decision, guys, you're gonna go down and check out the timestamp below and make your way to that reading. While you're down there, uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you can get next month's reading and hit the thumbs up button. That definitely helps out here. So um, I will see you at your reading. So look for your timestamp. All right, if you chose the key, then this is your reading. And uh, let's see what we get here. I'm using the Earth Magic Oracle deck. And oh, fun, we get the Lightning card, which is all about power and that idea of power. Um, so what a great card, um, especially with a month where we're kind of tapping into and looking at that idea of passion. Um, when we look at the power card, guys, um, you know, power is neither, you know, uh, uh, good or bad, right? You know, it's, um, it can be uh, used one way or the other. You know, it's like if you, you know, have electricity, you know, coming out of your wall, um, it doesn't dictate where that electricity goes, right? You know, you plug in a toaster, you plug in a television. I mean, it, it you know, it, it's, it's neutral, right? And that, that's kind of the message um, to start out. You know, there's a lot of energy. It's just depending on kind of where you decide to direct it this particular month. So, um, I want to start um, in the beginning here and just take a look at some of the energies surrounding you and um, kind of what you're carrying over from July. And let's see what we get. Okay, wow. So um, right now, guys, I would tell you that um, throughout the month of August, 
um, you are going to feel very much like you are able to be in command and kind of make some decisions and be able to, I guess, um, uh, I don't want to say there, there is this this idea of stability and kind of following the rules when we see the emperor, you know, playing within sort of expected parameters. And that's what I'm seeing for you a lot during the month of August. Um, at the same time, um, you know, when I see the ace of uh, pentacles, but when it, it is reversed, I feel like there's this this feeling of lost or, or missed opportunities. So um, that could be, you know, just in, in regards to the things going on in your life in general, or it could have to do more with sort of the energy of the people that are around you. Um, it seems as though you're gonna, you know, kind of keep moving forward and have a fairly positive energy um, and a fairly positive outlook sort of moving ahead, but there might be some things that are sort of missing you or passing you by. So whether that means you're not seeing it or not taking advantage of the situation, I'm not sure. Um, actually, coming out of um, in coming out of the month of July, to be fair, um, you know, I would say that you know there's still kind of this the same um, idea of of um, things you know maybe getting better than where they have been. Um, I think if you were to sort of track back and go back earlier in the year, I would imagine that um, when it comes to opportunities or some of those physical things in life, um, you would feel a lot more like you are missing things. Um, but moving forward into this time period, uh, last month especially, you might feel like, hey, I'm finally getting my head above water, I'm able to breathe. And this month, you know, you might be having losses, but it might be just that um, compared to where, where they have been, it doesn't quite feel so bad. Or maybe you're learning to cope with things a bit better, which is excellent. All right, so I wanted to look at um, maybe something in your life that is um, uh, you know, focusing, first card that I wanted to focus on passions with, something that is maybe just being lit. If we think about a fire of passion, what is just being lit? What is something that um, is kind of brand new that has yet to really start moving uh, forward with. And um, I'm actually seeing a relationship here, but one where you feel very much like you can let your guard down, that you can really trust this other person. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be a friendship. It could be someone um, that you have at work, but there is something that's just sort of beginning a new level of trust, a new level of being willing to kind of relax around someone, but it's very, very new. Um, so it's something that's still kind of at the, the beginning stages, um, that is something, I wanted to choose something for this spot that uh, is something that you want to work on or kind of move ahead with, um, encourage, I guess, uh, fan the flames of. Okay, so let's take a look here um, at, oh goodness, I wanna take a look here at um, kind of your number one opportunity that you have this month in terms of things um, that that you can direct your passions towards. Okay, something that could be coming your way that's really exciting, that's gonna get you excited. Okay, um, I also want to um, take a look at uh, potentially something that you need to start focusing on or directing your energy towards. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to move these. Looking to see where things are going to be in the long term, and we will get there. All right. So let's take a look at um, something that's coming your way, a new opportunity. Wow. So we have the emperor, but we also have the empress. So in this, guys, I have to just say, when it comes to this card, this is one of my favorite cards in regards to just the color here. If you look at her dress and the skirt on her dress and just the color of it, it just looks amazing. And when it comes to a card of passion, um, I mean, once again, I'm just think of fire and that idea, that idea of that, you know, really fiery, fiery energy. So um, I would say, you know, something that you can get really excited about this month. Um, has to do with um, a little bit of self-indulgence, um, a whole lot of you know understanding kind of who you are. Okay, so if we took take the two of these and kind of put them together, there's a lot of command and a lot of control over your own life. Um, at the same time, it's a lot of comfort, and there's this idea with the Empress of you getting what you need um, and putting out there what it is that you want and getting what you need in return, and almost having things 
brought to you. So I, my idea for you here with this is, you know, be really clear on what it is that you want and what you're looking for, um, because there's going to be some opportunities there regarding uh, people that might be willing to um, step in and really assist you in regards to that. So take the reins, um, be willing to see what you, uh, be willing to put out there what it is that you're, you're wanting to see. Um, and really get excited about that because I'm just seeing this, this opportunity for you to kind of magnetize things to you, which is excellent. Um, one of the things that um, you need to kind of next step sort of direct your energy towards, especially when it comes to, to um, things that you are incredibly passionate about, <laughs> um, I would say, and I'm seeing very much a relationship situation here. So you have had something either with one person with a relationship that is continuing or a relationship that ended, okay, where things were really not good, okay? So either you had a fight with one person or you had something where you separated from someone else. This could be a friend, it could be a colleague, um, it could be anything that's sort of arising, a lot of those really strong emotions in you. And your um, kind of next step with this person or this um, the situation is for you to, you know, find another person, smooth things over with this particular person. Um, but it's asking you to kind of take your emotions and put them on the back burner. So um, think about who that might be, that person that really um, made you incredibly upset or it's that person that was um, uh, perhaps bringing out the worst in you. And either how can you get past that person or how can you smooth things over with that person if it's someone that you're still um, kind of in this in a relationship with or interacting with in some way. Um, we're going to hold on to that last card. Um, what I need you to do right now, guys, is think about five people in your life that you anticipate spending a lot of time with in August or um, interacting with a lot in August. Okay. Um, and we're also going to look at uh, those people and how they um, might be working with you month this month as well as some um, things that might be blazing too hot and some things that might need you might need to stoke the fire on so to speak so let's take a look at um, more pentacles coming up okay um, here we go all right so this is this is interesting so right off the bat guys um, when it comes to things that you need to do a bit better of a job on in terms of um, pushing for and something that you need to kind of remove from your life i'm seeing a lot of internal drama with um, really close uh, with family members or very close friends to the point that they're almost like your chosen family okay so um if you have a lot of drama right now or things that are um causing issues you know at home or with your close friend group um, that is something that during the month of August and it could be something that comes up this month but it's asking you to reach more towards things that are more harmonious and you know away from um, what is certainly has a potential to be a really strong breaking and a kind of a schism there so it's asking you to kind of rebuild maybe rebuild in a different way um, but that's very very evident just from looking at these two cards um, looking at those five people, hopefully you have those in your head. Okay. Um, all right. So these, these people are going to help you just cut loose this month. And um, some of them are going to help you. Uh, I'm, I'm even seeing some of them as being, you know, that mildly bad influence, right? Where you cut loose and you do something totally crazy and stupid, but you really needed it. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing some of them are going to help you kind of get out of a funk or get out of a rut. Whoever those five people are, they're all going to help you, but I'm seeing them all helping you in slightly different ways. Um, but be willing to uh, trust and put your, your focus in those particular people. How can they help you move forward? How can they help you just cut loose? Because that's what I'm seeing. Um, so if you are feeling things weighing on you this month, look at those five people. How can they kind of help you get out of your own head? Because that's what I'm seeing a lot of. All right, so when we look back at this month in the future, what are we going to see? Wow. All right, so this is going to have some definite ups and downs to it. And I feel, and this is kind of going back with this card here, there's going to be some missed opportunities. And there's going to be some things when you look back on the month where you're like, oh, man, I feel like I missed some stuff. I feel like um, I, maybe I should have seen things. Um, either it could be a bit of rigidity here, guys, that's causing issues and making it difficult for you to kind of 
maybe get everything that's being put out on the table for you. But when we see something like this, it's kind of warning that, um, then your job kind of moving ahead into the month is to make sure that you are looking for opportunities, that you're not missing out on them, that you are able and willing to, um, I guess, you know, be aware that there could be some things coming your way that you, you're going to miss unless you are paying total, you know, incomplete attention to everything going on around you. So um, I want to go ahead and pull one more card. I love these. You can see they've got this gold leaf on the side. So we're going to take a look at this, but I'm going to have that at the end of the video. So go ahead and slide to that timestamp and I will see you there. Okay, so if you chose the acorn, then this is the reading for you. And these are the earth magic cards. And so the one that we get for you is the card of the fairies or this idea of earth magic. And um, when this card comes up, guys, it's talking about simply reconnecting with the earth and um, the energies of the earth and the plants and the soil and the land around you. So um, it's saying, you know, what I'm getting from this is that there is, um, you know, for you opportunities um, for you to tap into something if you're willing to do so. Um, so go out there, spend more time outside, um, spend some time with your hand in the dirt, so to speak. Um, but there are some opportunities there for you. And anytime you tap into that, uh, you know, it's going to bring a little bit of something extra or different to your life in terms of the energies that are able to kind of touch you and impact you. So think about that. Um, make a plan to spend some time outside during the month of August. Um, and when you are there, focus on the land and, and those things that are around you. So, um, guys, we're going to go through these few different decks here today and um, spend some time looking at the passion that's in your life, um, what's sort of coming your way, that, you know, what has been um, sort of trending in your life throughout the last month. Um, and I want to look at some of the things in terms of passion that maybe need to be kindled a bit more, something that's new, something. That's kind of the next step for you. Um, that's what we want to go ahead and take a look at with here. So let's start first looking at those things that are um, going to be sort of true in terms of the energy around you as we move into the month of um, August. And okay, wow, this is this is a, a fun um, set of cards just right off the bat. So. Um, there is the opportunity and energy around you for you to be able to accomplish a lot this month. Um, and when I say accomplish a lot, I mean, this could be you just blasting through a to-do list, or it could be, you know, you, what have you accomplished at the end of the month? It could be that you have, you know, gotten to a better, you know, headspace or whatever, you know, think about, um, you know, I would say for you, what you need to do this month is really, really consider what it is that you want to, to achieve or where you want to be at the end of the month, you know, um, money wise, career wise, relationships wise, all of that, because this is a great um, month for you to be able to look at that. And then I would say for you, getting there is going to be all about um, looking at things in a very different way, breaking the rules, um, considering things in a, a slightly different um, direction than normal. And for some of you, um, I'm going to say at least one of you, there's a big warning for you not to get too high and mighty with those people that you're feeling really close with. So if you're kind of going into the month um, already feeling like, you know, you have a lot to say and to teach other people, but in a way that's maybe too much, then um, it's asking you to kind of back off of that. So um, I feel like August is really coming off the tails of a month that for you may have felt a little stifled or... Um, at least in regards to August, is um, feeling much more contained. So I love for you that um, August is going to be more chaotic, but definitely I believe in a way that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so looking at you know something that's brand new, and this is interesting because this came up in the last one as well, um, and we're also coming with this too. So um, when I tell you, look at things in a different light. Do something totally wild, crazy, different in order to get where you need to be. There is going to be something that's going to pop up for you this month, um, kind of along those lines where you're going to be like, wow, I'm doing this thing and I've never done this before or I've never thought about it in this way. And it's something that's going to kind of shake the 
foundations of either your core beliefs or the way that you've always done things in the past. This is asking you to take whatever that is and to expand on that and run with it and consider incorporating that kind of into your life sort of here on out. So think about, you know, everything you do in August that might be flipping your core beliefs on their head and considering how might you take some of those beliefs and just make them your new beliefs now, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's take a look at um, some of the um, uh, kind of the, some of the future things that are coming your way, some of the, the, the things that are going to be there for you in terms of a new and great opportunity. Um, I want to look at kind of where these passions are going to play out you know, as we move forward um, into the month of August. So taking a look first and foremost at one of the biggest opportunities for you. Let's see what we have. All right, five of swords. Already we have two duplicates from the last reading. So that to me is interesting. So I would say one of the number one things um, for you to be able to do this uh, month is for you to be able to smooth something over that has been really, really bad um, alternatively and so getting kind of two things for this so some of you have some things that you really need to smooth over some of you um, and this is kind of tagging on to this hierophant it's tapping into this there's this energy sort of kind of raging through many of you right now that is all about flipping tables um, so for many of you I'm seeing this idea of um, kind of flipping things on its head and then rebuilding from scratch. So um, you should be able to tell kind of from this which one makes more sense for you, that idea of being a disruptor or soothing this disruption. I'm kind of getting both from this card sort of depending on who you are. Um, what you need to do um, this month, and gosh, look at the colors in this card. It's just remarkable, it's beautiful. All right. Um, we're talking about passions here, guys, and a lot of times with passions, it's all about like, oh, how can I stoke the fires of passion? How can I make things more passionate? This is actually saying that this month for many of you, um, there is a passion that needs to be snuffed out if we're going with the flame metaphor here. We need to get rid of it. We need to cut ties. Um, so there might be a passion out there that you have that is actually hurting you, whether this is a relationship or a person, or maybe it's something that you just love to do that you have escaped too far into that you need to um, cut off because it's no longer being healthy for you. Um, and like I said, that could be any number of things, you know, with this being a general reading, it's it's much harder to kind of pin that down because we're looking more at, at general things here. But um, it is definitely saying that you sometime this month are gonna need to cut ties or, you know, put that fire out, whatever it is. Um, it could be emotions. Maybe there's something that you've just been allowing, you know, the emotions to get away from you with um, and you need to avoid that. So we're going to hold on this card until the end. Right now, I need you to think about the five people that you believe you're going to be spending the most time with in the month of August. Okay. All right. And we're gonna look at those people in just a minute. I'm gonna give you a, a chance to kind of think about that. So the five people that you anticipate spending a lot of time with or anticipate being around. And um, first we're gonna go ahead and take a look at um, some of the the energy that you need to push away and pull towards yourself. Um, keeping you know this idea of passions in mind. Okay. Interesting. So, um, and these two cards, guys, really play off of each other. And something that I see this month, um, you know, you are going to have this situation where either it truly, you know, either you feel as though or it is true that someone is going to come in and sort of take something from you in regards to um, ideals or thoughts or, uh, you know, um, 
I'm, I'm trying to, in, in this is, it's really amalgamous, guys, because it's sort of, it, it's not pinning down to any one person. You, know, you get a number of people that watch these readings and this sort of bouncing all around. So, um, but this, this concept that you are going to have an idea or something that you're passionate about in regards to an idea or a cause that other people are going to be stamping on, stealing from you. Maybe they take your idea, maybe they stamp all over your cause, maybe whatever. And you are going to have this feeling this month that, you know, you really got the short end of the stick with that. This is asking you to, number one, try to not let yourself get too riled up and remember what's important and who is important in your life. But secondly, um, it's asking you to see things from a different point of view. If you cannot do that, then just leave things on the table, okay? So don't get totally bent out of shape if other people don't have exactly the same mindset as you. Um, August looks like that that could really come to a head this month for whatever that is for you. So looking at those people that um, you have in your life and those five people that I asked you to consider, um, many of those people, guys, and it's not going to be all of them, but some of them are actually going to sort of work against you in regards to some of the, these passions. Um, and some of them are just going to really confuse you. Um, so if you have something, you know, if you've ever done that thing where you're like, oh, I'm really excited about this thing, but then I talked to my friend and she talked me out of it. Um, that is what I see for you this month. So you need to be really careful about that. Um, you know, if you're passionate about something and you feel really strongly about it, go ahead and do that and don't feel like you have to bounce it off of your friends in order to get, or friends, family, whomever, you know, those five people in order to be able to get um, some affirmation that, that you're going the right direction. Just do it, okay? Um, looking at, back at this month, <laughs> this is great. All right, looking back at this month, um, when you look at the month of August in the future, I love this. This is one of my favorite cards. And in this deck, it's certainly a really interesting variation of it. Um, this month is a month about new things, new knowledge, new things coming your way, finding something new about yourself. And I'm seeing an awful lot here, guys, about kind of your mindset, um, ways of doing things that are new. What a fun month for you in the, you know, in, in regards to August. Um, there's a lot of novelty in the energy this month for you. And when you look back, if you seize things appropriately, you're going to see some massive breakthroughs and some things where you're like, wow, I really started to shift the way I was living my life in the month of August. And that's awesome. Okay, so um, I have one more card with this beautiful deck um, that I'm going to pull for you. And you can see there's gilding on the side, which I think is so pretty. Um, that's going to be at the end, one final timestamp. So go ahead and move to that and I will see you there. All right, if you chose the Ankh, then this is your reading. And I'm using the Earth Magic um, deck for this. And um, you get the Winter Solstice. So uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, this seems like kind of a funny card uh, to pop up in the dead of summer. But I guess, you know, it makes sense if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. And honestly, it's not about the, you know, this, it's about what it means and the idea. So let's take a look at this picture here and talk about what this means. This is a card of reflection. So this is asking you, um, you know, not to go play in the snow drifts. It's asking you to really, really reflect. Um, take some time this summer and consider where you have been, especially over the last year, um, the last 12 months, if, you know, it, at least the last month, but especially the last 12 months. Think about where you've been, think about where you are going, and, um, you know, really take some time to reflect on that. So when I see reflection for this month, what it is telling me is that this is a month for you, you know, to spend reflecting on things as they're coming your way. So try to be a little bit more aware as you're moving through the month and as you're doing the things that you're doing and say, hey, why am I doing things this particular way? Why am I spending time with this particular person? Why am I X, Y, Z? Okay, think about that because that is what this card is asking you to do this month. So we're gonna be looking at these three decks, guys, and um, looking at the energies for you this month, but specifically considering some of the passions that are surrounding you and um, that are there for you to kind of seize, move forward with, push away, all of that. But let's start looking at just the general energies for the month of August for you, and let's see what we get. Okay. So 
um, good and bad is what I'm seeing so far here with you. Um, so there is this idea that you are getting closer to becoming, um, I want to say this sounds so cheesy, the person that you were meant to be or the person that you want to be. The reality is, guys, um, I'm going to see a lot of breakthroughs for you in the month of August, okay? Things that you were able to do that you had not been able to do before or things where um, you know, you're finally feel like, oh, I got this thing figured out. I finally, you know, maybe you got out of your own head or you get out of like a bad relationship or a bad situation. So that's good. Um, what I feel like though, um, given the energies for the month, is that you are going to get out of some sort of immediate thing that's pressing against you that you're worried about. But in general, um, the bigger picture is still kind of, you feel like, oh my gosh, I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Now, for some of you, that could be good. Um, but for the most part, you know, when we see the judgment card reversed, it kind of means that there's something holding you back from being better than you are or where you need to be. Um, so short term, it's good. But in the long term, there's a little bit of being, you know, kind of stuck in the mud energy. So let's see what else kind of pops up, because if we can find a way to kind of move around that or find reasons around that, I want to see if we can definitely do that. So let's look back at last month. Okay. So looking at the month of July then and kind of seeing as how it plays into this, it, I feel like um, there's definitely this waiting game that's going on for you where you kind of laid laid the path for things to happen in a particular way and it's not working. Um, and so this energy could definitely be kind of leading into this energy of this judgment card, but also there's going to be a change this month in regards to that. And it, for some of you, it might be a, you know, giving it up like, hey, whatever this thing I've been waiting on, I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, so just think about that. You know, what are what are some of those things that you've been putting your life on hold for? And see if you can kind of step away from that. You, you don't have, you know, forever to wait for something, right? Get your life moving ahead. So, um, <laughs> okay, so here we go back to this idea of reflection again. This is asking you, um, really, really asking you to ramp this up. Okay, so I said, do you think about, you know, reflect on your life, reflect on your life. This is asking you to really get in there. Um, and this is something that when we look at passions, guys, this is my first passion card in this spread. Something that is small, something that has the potential. Okay, there's some potential energy here. And this is, is really indicating for you to spend some time digging into your your psyche, your depths. Um, if you have a meditation or a yoga practice, spend time with that. If you don't do those things or you think those things are silly, consider looking into it. But the energy behind this card is more about digging into things that are super, super deep for you in this instance and seeing how you can explore those more. Um, that's really coming through, um, especially coming off of that initial card there. So let's see what your biggest opportunity is this month, okay? Um, and then also, you know, looking forward at some of your next actions and what we need you to do. All right, so number one opportunity for you this month. Wow, lots of options. Okay, and I'll just do this so you can see all the imagery on here. All right, so when we talk about passion, look at all the options. And because this is a general reading for the collective, this is gonna come through in a few different ways. For some of you, when I say options, I'm talking about relationships. For some of you, when I say options, I'm talking about hobbies or things that make you super excited. They're just gonna, you're gonna have more opportunities to work with them than you know what to do with. This is a really exciting card. Um, so for you, it's gonna be a little bit about time management this month. How can you make all of this awesome stuff fit into your life? Um, it's gonna be there. That doesn't mean it's gonna be thrust upon you, but the opportunities are going to be there and you have to make the point to go ahead and grab those particular things, but wow, they are there for you. Um, like I said, whether it's a relationship or an opportunity in regards to something that just is really passionate, makes you really passionate, okay? And that can be a hobby, it could be an event, it could be travel, it could be, a new recipe that you try that's absolutely fantastic. But this is a month for really great things coming your way if you're willing to kind of open your eyes and pay attention to them. Look, don't keep your eyes shut. You need to take the blindfold off. All right, so moving ahead, um, one of the things I wanted to kind of get you on this sort of next, 
next uh, next step, next option. So um, I really, especially with all of these cards sort of sitting here, you, many of you have not been putting yourself first. This is a month where you need to start putting yourself first. You need to stop putting yourself on the back burner so that someone else is able to move ahead and who's able to achieve and able to get what they want. Um, this could be in a particular relationship. If you know right now that you are playing second fiddle to someone in a relationship, you need to stop and put yourself first. Um, if you are putting everything else on hold in your life because you are killing yourself at work or because you are, you know, X, Y, or Z, you know, you need to start putting yourself first. Dig deep, find some of those things that make you really excited. Um, seize the energy of this season and the passion of the season and put yourself first rather than second or third or last, okay? Um, and that's sort of your to-do this month. Now, we're gonna hold on that until the end. What I would like for you to do is to think about the five people in your life who you anticipate spending a lot of time with in August. Okay. And we're going to look at those people and their effect on you, but we're also going to look at the um, energies that you need to kind of minimize and maximize this month as well. All right. Interesting. Okay. So this is also going off of this. So we, we've got a, a number of things going on here. All right. So some of you, and I, this is, gosh, all of this stuff is tying together, guys. So for many of you, um, some of you are super busy right now. And this is kind of where this might be coming in, where you're like, yep, I, I understand when you say there's a lot of stuff going on. I already know there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, some of you are really busy, but this is actually asking you to kind of walk away from some of those things. If you have too much on your plate, if your burden is too much, if you've got too much going on, you need to start stepping away. You need to say no to things. Um, you cannot say yes to absolutely everything. So when I told you, hey, grab everything out there that's awesome, this is also a warning that says, yeah, but not so much that you can't focus, that you don't have time to breathe or reflect. Um, so the the very first thing I'm gonna tell you in terms of the energy is that, hey, there's a lot of opportunity here for you to be overwhelmed this month if you are not being careful about it. So be willing to say no, be willing to step away for some things. Um, <laughs> Guys, this is the exact same card flipped in the exact same position as the last one, which is it's crazy. Um, uh, interpretation is a little bit different this time and different people watching, but that's very interesting. Always strange when that happens. Um, when you think about those five people, okay, um, they are going to distract you from the things that you really need to be doing this month if you're not careful. Um, there is a lot of excitement and a lot of passion there, but they could very well be taking you down the wrong path or saying, hey, we need to go do that one thing. And then you're not really, you know, saying no or doing the things that you need to do. So be willing to say no to those people as well, even if those are the people that you feel really, really closely uh, close with. Um, because they have the, a tendency to really distract you this month from those things that you really need to be doing. There's a lot of, look at all the wands here, guys. Um, wands, 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 um, a lot of passionate cards going on here. When we look at the month, um, for many of you guys looking back at the month of August, and here we go again, okay, we're seeing some heartbreak. Some of you are going to, and when I say heartbreak, this could be stepping away from a person you love or feeling like you missed out on an opportunity that you were really excited about. I mean, all these are things that are not great. Um, but at the same time, you know, how many times have we stepped away from something that we loved and we were really passionate about? And then later we were like, yeah, but it was for the best. Okay. So this once again is kind of saying, okay, be willing to step away, be willing to set things down, be willing to say no, because in the end that could ultimately actually be the best thing for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. You don't want to go back and see things in a few months and say, yeah, I lost things that I really wanted. You want to say, I put things down that I chose to put down. Okay, so really important there. I have one last card for us. Um, I love the gilding on this deck. Okay, um, that is going to be the final card here. The timestamp is below and I will see you there.
All right, so I'm gonna use the Illustrated Herbiary deck to choose one last card for us today. Um, while I am shuffling, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below um, which card you chose, or I'm sorry, which um, item you chose, or you know if you felt like this resonated with you. I'd absolutely love to um, know your thoughts on this reading. Um, and once again, if you haven't subscribed, you know, be sure to do so so that you are able to get uh, next month's reading so it will pop up in your feed. Um, and you know, hit the like if you haven't already. So let us see what we have here. Okay, interesting. So the card that we're getting is actually this, um, the card of white sage in this particular deck, but it's talking about clearing the way or or clearing the energies or getting, I mean, a lot of times I see this as clearing things out of the way so that you can move forward on, on the path that you need. And that was really a common theme for many of these readings. Um, some of you, it was about clearing other things off your plate. And for some of you, it was about understanding yourself better and really knowing what you need in order to move ahead. Um, so that would be my suggestion for you guys, you know, take the reading that you were given and then on top of it take this idea of clearing things out of your life or doing a little life housekeeping so to speak as you move ahead and that's it for today's reading guys um, i really appreciated you being here today feel free to check out some of my other pick a card readings or the terrascope for this month if you haven't seen it i appreciate you showing up and i will see you next time Thank you.